trying a new style box today. I got my very first one today. So if you want to see what's in this big box, stick around because I want to find out what's in there too. Hey, hey divas, welcome to my channel, Dress Like You Mean It. My name is Andrea and I like to do unboxings and shopping hauls and clothing try-ons. Now, if that sounds like fun to you, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my fun fashion adventures. Cheers! All right, let's see what's in this big box. <clears throat> so, Wonderful is a styling service and um, I'm pretty sure you can get them on demand or set up a recurring delivery. Um, I think you get seven items and you'll find out along with me. So, the world's easiest ste steps. Try it all on, check out and review, send it back, snap a photo. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. You deserve to feel beautiful. And that is um, a UPS label for returns and it shows the items and prices which I'm not going to look at just yet and my um, <clears throat> my box kind of came apart your edit has arrived so I got um, a regular edit they have special edits and they have an active edit and a men's edit um, and let's see you can return it by uh, UPS or the Postal Service, okay? And they send you a bag to return it in. So I guess my bundle was too big to, um, to fit around the tissue paper, but it says styled for Andrea. So I'm not gonna be able to lift it out. I, <laughs> I wanna lift it out for you to show you guys, but it is so big. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> this is this is impressive. All right. So that is my bundle, and let's see. We've got some jewelry on top. <clears throat> jewelry it says "Pretty Little Things," and. Looks like some denim, some red plaid, some puffy, mauve thing, um, an oatmeal colored thing, looks like more denim, and a big, big sweatery thing. So, let's get into it. Right, let's, this is a big pile. Let's check out the jewelry first. <clears throat> oh wow, this is pretty. All right, I've been getting rocks box and I've gotten two and kept something from each of them. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep getting it though because I'm just not going out. So to spend money on, on a lot of jewelry right now just doesn't seem to make that much sense. This is very pretty. This is, it has like a little white crystal and then is that looks like kind of a I don't know if it's, it looks like mother of pearl. I don't know if you can see that. And then a heart and then something else that I can't quite discern. But I like necklaces like that. I'm gonna, I will try that on for you. <clears throat> okay, next up is denim and I need more denim. Like I need a hole in my head, but Let's see what they sent me. Um, so these are Meritage high-waisted crop skinny in 27. I'm a 28, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but they have got a button front fly, which I really like that look, and I actually bought some from Cut From The Cloth, so I'm not sure that I'll need another pair. And because they are 27, they've got a lot of good stretch though and just pockets in the back, uh, finished hem, 
a little bit of fading. So those are nice. They are nice. Uh, like I said, I don't really need more more denim, but I'm going to try them on, and they're they're pretty cute. I like them. All right. Next up, we have something by Gilly, and this is a dress. Um, it is a buffalo red red and black buffalo check dress by Gilly, and it's that's what they call it. Size small. Uh, looks like long sleeves pockets I know I know some people love pockets and dresses and <clears throat> sorry things are, are trying to fall off it's it's nice and soft let's see what it is made of it's lined and it is 96% polyester 4% spandex and the lining is polyester so that's really cute. I'm not wearing a lot of dresses these days because um, I'm just not going out and I tend not to wear dresses as I've mentioned before in the winter, but I'll try it on. It's super cute. All right, so this is my color. Oh, this is so cute. This is a puffer vest and just has the neck. It's a size small. It's by Bobo and and zips it looks like it's <clears throat> looks like it's on the long side I don't think you can tell that um, but it, yeah it's a little longer love the color it's nice light light puffer it's got a pocket on the inside and does it have any pockets doesn't it it has a pocket on this side a zip pocket so it has one outside pocket and two inside pockets. Is there not a, oh no, there's a pocket over here. So, all right, try that on. All right, next up is Cloud 10. Um, and oh, <laughs> if you guys watched my last, <clears throat> my last Nordstrom, they sent me a crop top and this is a crop top. It is a waffle knit and it's, it's gray, but it's leaning very green, and I am not a green person, and it's got like a Henley, Henley top there, um, but it is cropped, so I most likely won't be keeping that because I'm not thrilled about the color, and, and I don't do crops. Okay, and then we have another pair of jeans. <clears throat> These are by Vigas. They are Rebel High Rise Skinny, and what size are these? These are... Uh, these are waist 25. I can guarantee you I'm not going to be able to fit in these. Um, they are a acid wash. I would call that an acid wash denim. So the 80s um, probably want their jeans back. Um, finished hem. I'm not into this, this really light wash. And I don't even know. I do like the, the two button. It has two buttons above the fly. Um, I do like that. But... I'm not into this wash, and I, I don't even know if I'll be able to get these up because I wear a 28. So, I'm not sure, not sure why they sent me a 25. And last, we have this gray, let's see, what is this? This looks like, this looks kind of like a, what a lot of people call a codigan. Um, it's very heavy, it's got cuffed sleeves and it has a hood which it's nice and thick and, and soft but I'm not much into the hoods and it has kind of a, a circle in the front uh, finish and then it's got some pockets so that all looks great I'm excited to try it all on I'm trying to be a little bit more selective about what I keep because I've kept some things and afterwards um, I've kind of been like, mm, I'm not sure as, that I love it as much as I did when I first tried it on. So now I'm keeping things for a day instead of just checking out right away um, and just giving it some thought. And if my daughter comes by, I ask her opinion. So I'm going to show you my outfit of the day and then I'm going to try all these fun things on for you. of the 
today is a mostly stitch fix outfit. So this is a cardigan that I got from them. Um, I think I got it my third fix when I kept everything. And I also got this gray sweater by Letty and me. And then these are the plaid, I think they are cut from cloth. They're either cut from cloth or Liverpool. And then these slippers, I recently got these from Nordstrom. Um, not in a box. I ordered a bunch of stuff and I wanted something cozy and just a little variety for my Uggs. So up close, this sweater has the crisscross detail and it's also got this lace detail that goes around to the back. And the cardigan does not have pockets or anything. It has the longer tails in the front. And that's my outfit of the day. So let's get to the try on. So I'm three of the pieces on and I, um, let's see, the, the vest is kind of big. I don't know that I am liking this long look. Come up a little bit closer. It just it doesn't fit well. It just doesn't look good. It's, it's just too long. It's too long and boxy. So here, I'll turn around so you can see. So I'm disappointed about that because I love the color, but this is just not a good look for me. It's, I don't know, smaller would be better. It's, it's too long, it's too long. I don't like the long, the long vest look. And then I have on the jeans which I like them, but they're too small. And um, if I wear my regular size of 28, I don't have a muffin top, and this is giving me a muffin top. So, and then the shirt, it, it does, it's not, it's not really a crop, but if I lift my arms up, you, you can start seeing things. I don't like the color. Um, it's soft, it's, you know, it's a nice comfortable shirt but it's too green and I just don't wear green. And, that, and then the back. And then the jeans. Um, you can see it's, it's pulling there because they're too small. This, these are not my size. So I like the jeans, but I'm not gonna keep them because they're too small. And I don't really need another pair of button front fly jeans. I paired them with these Lucky Brand sneakers in leopard print. I'll come over. I did not get these with Wantable. I got them in a Nordstrom, my Nordstrom haul. And they have this cute little kind of V that I think is really cute. I actually don't have sneakers, so this is the first pair of sneakers that I've bought. I have like, I have Skechers, but not, not true sneakers. So. All right, let's get to the next outfit. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and try on this coat again. I don't know if that's what they're calling it, but that's what I'm calling it. It's the Elsie cardigan in gray tote, size two to four. This is the box of big things. It's just enormous on me. It, it's too big. It's, it's just too big. I've been having that with a lot of boxes and I think maybe I need to try a short story box or Petite Avenue or something because um, it just feels like I'm getting a lot of oversized things. Now I'll try on something else. These are the Vygos jeans, and I was surprised that I actually could get them zipped up and buttoned. Um, let me know in the comments if Vygos jeans run large, because like I said, these are a 25, and I normally wear a 28. I do have quite a bit of muffin top. They are too small, but I was just surprised that I could actually even get them zipped. And I just left the same shirt on and did a little front tuck, and I really do like this, this detail of the two buttons. 
um, but you can see it's pulling a little bit there and I'm not going to show you my muffin top because you don't need to see that and this is the side the back and I don't like this wash it's it, I'm just not feeling that whole you know throwback wash acid wash thing the shoes that I'm wearing are another pair of sneakers and I got these also from pan down from that Nordstrom order that I did when they were having their half yearly sale um, they are by Mephisto and I have kind of a funny story to tell you about Mephisto shoes um, they're very comfortable and I was at Nordstrom many years ago let's see let me pan this up so <laughs> I, can, I actually am talking to you I was at Nordstrom many years ago and I asked to try on a pair of shoes they were just you know flats um, and he brought out a couple other pairs one of which was a pair of Mephistos and they were the most comfortable things I've ever put on my feet they were also like I think they were 300 350 dollars and that was just beyond what I had ever spent and would consider spending at the time I've gotten past that because now I have some designer <laughs> heels and things but um, I was like, I'm, you know, I'm not buying this. I'm not spending this much money on a pair of shoes. But then all of a sudden I had to have a pair of Mephistos. So I got online and finally found a pair that was on sale. I think I paid $150 for them. Um, and I wore them a lot. And then I stopped wearing them because I just kind of changed how I was dressing and the kind of shoes I wore. And I actually ended up taking them to an ugly shoe party where they were going to donate the shoes. <laughs> And it, a lot of the people from work, because I used to work at the hospital at that time, they said that they didn't believe that I had ever worn those shoes. And one of the other women piped up. She goes, I've seen her. <laughs> so I, I did have a stint with a pair of not attractive shoes. All right, I will try on this dress last for you, and then we'll talk prices. So these are the last two items. This is the dress. And I put on some black tights and paired them with my uh, these black booties that I got from Stitch, uh, my Stitch shop. And it comes kind of hits right above the knee. I'm a little closer for you to see. And it's cute. It's got it's got the pockets. Just a, a scoop neck and. I think you would call that an umpire waist. This is the necklace. Not sure that that's showing up that well, but um, I like the necklace. I like the dress. But like I said, I don't wear dresses that much. Although this might be a fun, different look. I, you know, I try to put something nice on during the week so but on the weekend all bets are off it's all about joggers and sweaters and slouchy tops so tell me what you think about this dress should i keep this um i you know i like it and it's it's nice and soft and comfortable um, and i think if i just wore it with some tights or some leggings it would be a comfortable look to wear during the day when i'm just working at home all right, we will do a recap. All right, let's see what is in my note. Andrea, you have five days of discovery. Enjoy it, take your time. This edit is all about you. My stylist note, who's named Amanda, and looks very, very young. Hi, Andrea, welcome to your first style edit. I've enjoyed getting to know you, and I wanted to be as thoughtful as possible today, selecting pieces that reflect your unique style. As the world changes, I wanted to make sure you're ready for everything. Thanks for taking the time to make some stream requests. I love the buffalo plaid dress. I snagged a trendy cardigan from Thread and Supply for you to try. Pair the cardigan with the waffle knit Henley for a casual, cute look. It would be great if you could leave me feedback to let me know what you love and don't love so we can be seamless on the next edit. I hope you are taking some time for yourself during all of this. Enjoy, Amanda. Okay, so the, let's see, the style fee was $20 and they do taxes. 
Sorry, my computer keeps making noises even though I told Siri to turn on Do Not Disturb. All right, so let's get into this. Um, you know, it says, so these are the Vigas, and those are $74. And I think on here, had it said a different price? No, it said 74. So um, I'm not gonna keep these because they're size 25. On here it says 27. They are a 27 in length, but a 25 in waist. So I wonder if that was a mistake. Doesn't matter, I don't like the wash, but I'm wondering if I put down a 27 as my size. If so, that that's on me, but these are a 25 at any rate. So those, are going back. Okay, the this Codigan thing, which they call a cardigan, um, is eighty-eight dollars. And huh, okay, um, that's going back because it just looks terrible on me. It's just too big, and um, I don't like the hood. And um, yeah, so that's not a good fit. The, let's see, Cloud 10 Waffle Knit Henley is $54, which, I don't know, that seems kind of a lot for what it is. Um, if it had been in a different color, I might have considered it. They call it taupe. I see a lot of green in there. I don't know if you guys do, but I, I see a lot of green, and I just don't wear green. So that's going back. The long puffer vest in withered rose is $78. And while I love the color and it was a nice weight, it was too long and just didn't look good on me. So apparently I liked the buffalo plaid dress. Um, it is $58, which is not a bad price for a dress. I sent some pictures to my daughter to ask her what she thought of it because um, I'm a little bit on the fence. If you could leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of how I looked in this, I would be so grateful. All right, so that is a maybe. The high-waisted button fly skinny ankle in Pilsen is $89, and apparently that was another thing that I had requested. I probably like that button detail. Um, I'm gonna have to go and see if I put the wrong sizes because, I don't know, these were cute, but like I said, I already have a pair of button front fly jeans. I, I wouldn't mind a pair with the two buttons, like the acid wash, but maybe in a different wash. Oh, and the Kelsey necklace is $68. And I did request that. Um, that is a lot of money though for this necklace. And you see it there. What to do, what to do, because I've already spent $20. Um, and I'll have to decide if I'm just going to eat it and send everything back or maybe keep, keep the dress. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep this necklace because I just don't feel like it's worth $68. So the merchandise total was $509. If you keep five items, you get a discount. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the discount is, but it's a, it must be about 25% because it's $101.80 would be the discount. And that would bring the box down to $407.20. Um, yeah, so save 20%. Okay, not 25, save 20%. So that's my first Wantable box. I've seen a lot of Wantable videos and it looks like people get some nice stuff. Um, I. I I can't say that I'm wowed. I want to go shopping by myself. <laughs> I just want to go back out shopping by myself. And COVID rates are coming down in Colorado, so maybe I'll be able to do that soon. But I'm supposed to get a stitch soon, so I'll be seeing you soon when I try that on. 
The one thing I will say about these items is they were very nice quality. Now, when I did my, um, my Spasham unboxing, I didn't feel like those clothes were very good quality, and I do feel like this is good quality. So I'm thinking that I might give them um, another chance and see if it was my fault that I put in the wrong size for pants. Um, but yeah, so that's my Wonderful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and cheers. Have a good rest of your week and tell me what you've gotten from Wannable that you like a lot. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, you know, like, comment, all those things that makes YouTube happy. Until next time, dress like you mean it.